Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Before we hop into today's adventure, I want to make sure that you know about Kids Short Stories. That's one of my other podcasts that has been super fun where we turn your ideas into awesome adventures. Whether it's a unicorn, a spy adventure, or a mystery, you never know what you're going to find. Well, on today's adventure, we are learning about paper wasps. Holy smokes, this is an awesome adventure. Are you ready? Me too, let's go! <sighs> it was a beautiful morning, and Apollo the paper wasp was just waking up. Oh, <gasps> wait, is today the day? He ran over and looked at the calendar. Yes, today! Ah! Wait a second. What is going on that makes today so amazing for Apollo? Oh, yeah. Today was the day that he was going to see if he got into the famous art school. <gasps> Whoa. Yes. As a paper wasp, everyone dreams of getting into the design art school for paper wasps. Yes. Paper wasps, they're amazing artists and designers. They build the most extravagant nests made of paper. And you don't just start doing that without some training. Yeah, if you want to learn to do something awesome, like be a really great artist or, or learn to catch a football, you have to practice at it and maybe even be taught by someone who's really good at it. And so that is why it's important for Apollo to get into the art school so that he can be a famous nest designer. As he rushed around looking for all of his shoes, he had a hard time finding them all. Oh no, where did I put them? Said Apollo. Wait a second, all of the shoes. Do bees and wasps, do they have more than two shoes, two legs? Yes, they do. Do you know how many legs a wasp has? Do you think it's two, four, or six? Six legs. Yes, Apollo has three pairs of shoes, which means he has six shoes for his six feet. Oh, oh, here it is. He finally found his last shoe that was underneath his pillow. How did my shoe get under there? Ah, I don't know. I don't have time. I got to run out to the mailbox. Ah! Apollo raced out the door as fast as he could towards the mailbox because today was the day that there was going to be a letter in the mailbox that said if he got into the art school or if he didn't. How do you think Apollo would feel if he didn't get into that art school? Do you think he would feel happy or sad? Yeah, sad. That would be really sad if you don't get into the thing that you're really wanting to do. But remember, we never give up. And so if he doesn't get in, he's just going to try again and try again and try again and never give up at his biggest dream. He raced down and arrived at the mail room, and there it was, the letter from the art school. It was in a very fancy, crisp envelope, and he carefully opened it and pulled out the letter. And from the top, the first word said, Congratulations, Apollo. You have been accepted into the... Woohoo! He didn't even finish reading the letter, and he was already celebrating. <laughs> He knew what it meant. He had been accepted into that design school. Isn't that so awesome? Oh, it's so awesome. He did not have long to get ready for school. School was going to start in just a few days, and so there's a lot that he needed to get ready for. Have you ever started at a new school before? Does it feel kind of uh, nervous or exciting? It's kind of both, right? Apollo went through all of those different emotions, and finally... It was school day. Welcome, class. Today is the first day of your future, said the lead professor of the art school. And it is going to take great focus for you to be among the best. But some of you, maybe just one of you, may become great. Apollo's eyes were so big. He was so excited to finally be in this art design school. And over the next couple weeks, he studied as hard as he possibly could because he wanted to be great. 
Have you ever wanted to be great at something? Yeah, it takes a lot of work to be great at something. And Apollo, he was committed to it. He was never going to give up. During school, they, they learned all about their paper wasp nest. You see, a nest for paper wasps is made out of paper. And they learned there's a lot of reasons of why that nest is really important. And one that stuck out to Apollo was the baby wasps. You see, the baby wasps, they need to keep dry. And so it's really important when you're making that whole nest, you have to seal it really well so that no water gets in and gets all the baby wasps wet. Apollo was fascinated to learn what the nest was made of. It's made of tiny little pieces of wood that mash together to make almost like a paper mache. Have you ever made something called paper mache? Oh, it's a super fun art project. So parents, make sure that you're subscribed to our email list. Go to heymrjim.com to sign up for our email list. And this week, I'm going to be sending out this awesome email for you guys to build your own paper wasp nest with all the instructions. Apollo, you are doing fantastic work, said the lead professor. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you, professor, said Apollo. I'm just, I want to be great. And so I'm going to do... Whatever it takes, I'll study as long as I need to in order to be great, just like you, said Apollo. That is fantastic. You see, this weekend, all of the professors and designers were going to an art conference. Uh, And so we're going to be all out of town. And so while we're gone for the day, if anything crazy happens, I need you to to be in charge with it, okay? (gasps) Oh, oh, boy. Apollo was so excited to have this opportunity. Oh, absolutely. I will make sure that nothing bad happens. You can count on me, Professor. Oh, I know I can, and I'm sure nothing crazy will happen. So you enjoy the weekend with your friends, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, Professor, said Apollo. Wow, that is a big responsibility that the Professor gave Apollo. You see, all the expert designers, they're gone this weekend for some kind of art convention and so apollo he's gotta make sure that the nest is all safe just after the designers all left a storm rolled into the area boom crash the thunder booms shook the whole nest and everybody looked around at each other oh holy smokes that was a big one said one of the wasps Apollo got a little nervous because he didn't think that anything wrong would actually happen this weekend, but they have storms all the time and nothing has ever gone wrong. So I'm sure they're going to be okay. But then another big boom and lightning crashed very close to the nest. Whoa! All the wasps were thrown to the back of the nest. You see, their nest was built onto a branch of a tree, like a whole bunch of branches as really good support. And the tree was starting to rock back and forth in the storm. And all of a sudden, one of the branches came crashing down, ripping a giant hole in the nest on the side. Ah! All the wasps shouted and turned to Apollo. Apollo, what do we do? Oh no. There's a hole in the nest now, and all the designers are gone. It's going to be up to Apollo to save the day. We'll have to wait and see on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. Wow. Do you think Apollo is going to be able to save the day? All right. Who remembers how many feet Apollo has? Was it two, four, or six? Yes, wasps have six legs. That is pretty cool. And I can't wait to see if he's able to fix that giant hole in the nest. Make sure that you're signed up for those emails so that you can find our awesome instructions of how to build a paper wasp nest. And right now, I'm going to see you over on the other podcast, Kids Short Stories. I can't wait to see you there. Have a super duper day. Bye.